All right, so the main reason why Ryan Dunn is here is because My sweet I've heard probably the greatest story ever, and I can't believe it happened so long ago, and I just heard it now. Basically, he managed to ruin his relationship with his girlfriend, completely ruin his next business career move, and ruin a boat. <laughs> I love so, the boat doesn't coincide with those other two things. So let's get started. Uh, you were, it was New Year's, and you were in South Carolina, was it? It was uh, North Carolina. And, and go was, on, because this is right. fucking great. This is an old relationship? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is this years ago. This ain't current. No, no, no. Uh, I, I'm still holding on to my current relationship because she has bad taste in men. But, um, no, this is years ago, and I was with uh, uh, an ex-girlfriend. And at the time, I had uh, I was working as an audiovisual consultant doing, like, theaters and, and audio setups and stuff. And uh, a guy was opening a new uh, chain of entertainment centers, and he hired the company that I worked for to do the audio. So I went and did this like a couple towns from here. It was like uh, Newtown Square or something. And uh, I wired up his whole stereo system in his, uh, you know, entertainment center, like you know, like. Uh, Arcade games and you know food. Man, and you're crap. good. You're gonna run the show. Yeah, Why don't yeah. you come down to my boathouse in North Carolina? Was so, well, no, <laughs> I'll make you that, president of the company. Before that <laughs> happened, we agreed that he would go. He would he would get rid of the hiring the company to do it and just hire me to do it. So I was gonna be the head of his audiovisual department for this new multi you know national corporation. <laughs> and I was all gung ho and I had a boner for three months. So here I am, spec to do three more buildings in the next two months and uh, New Year's Eve is coming up so he invites me and my girlfriend down to his new cab and then he built North Carolina on the lake so we get down there New Year's Eve the morning and uh, we go out on his boat we're like jet skiing and stuff it's cold though so like there's a little bit of ice in the like little back areas and stuff so we went out and so I guess technically we weren't jet skiing but other people were but it was cold and uh, so that night I end up uh, being introduced to um, moonshine <laughs> yeah, a little thing called moonshine, and they they basically took cherries and uh, what was it? Cherries and peaches and soaked it in moonshine. You just eat them. So I was hungry, so I ate a, just a shit ton, and uh, eventually got plastered. And uh, the rest is hazy, but all I know is in the middle of the night, after the ball had dropped and everything had calmed down, I still wanted a party, and I saw a fire across the lake. We were on a well, lake. Well, wait, he let you drive his boat for the first time. That day, yeah, 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 I already said that. We went out on his boat that day, his new boat. It was like and a you, were, you were driving it, so... Yeah, yeah, I knew what I was doing. Yeah. And uh, he had... <laughs> so so uh, that night, is maybe like 3 or 4 in the morning, everybody's passed out, and I see a party across the lake, and I didn't know how to walk there. So, <laughs> so I decide to go down in his boat and try and get to the other side of the lake. Even if I got to the other side of the lake, I don't even. They didn't have a dock, so I would have just had to dry boat it up onto their beach. But at that point, was this during of, your blackout? Oh yeah, yeah. I don't even remember all this, but I, I it slowly came to me over the course of the last few years. Driving through ice. <laughs> well, the, we're back in this little like in the middle gully. of the night. There was ice that accumulated, and I figured it, it, we went through it earlier in the day, so I could get through it. That and time. he was sleeping at this point. Everybody and you, was sleeping. There was like light in sight, except for across the lake. Everyone's sleeping except Don. And, and I can hear faintly wasn't, across. Wasn't your girl with you though? No, she was asleep. You through. were just like alone, and she was already annoyed drunk, and like, oh, look, a party across the street, and I know how to drive the boat. It wasn't across the street; it was across the lake. <laughs> across and all I could hear is like. Ooh, ooh. Like just like hooting and hollering, and I wanted to be in that. Apparently, I found out later on that she had already been mad at me up until that point, and that's why she wasn't with me. She was awake in the room, just planning her, you know, escape from my <laughs> wretched hands. And uh, so I decided to plow through the ice with this fella's new boat, and uh, <laughs> and uh, I didn't make it apparently, <laughs> but I. Uh, I remember partying after that, so maybe I did walk around the lake, but long story short, I woke up in the morning, and I go downstairs, and I got a hell of a hangover, and his wife, my new business partner's wife, makes me a Bloody Mary and hands it to me very somberly, and uh, it had pickled uh, um, green beans in it. It was the best Bloody Mary I've ever had, and I was just oh, loving it, just trying to recount all the fun we had the night before. So I see my new business partner sitting in his chair looking at, off into yonder, whatever. I don't know what he was looking at, but he, I was like, man, this is a great Bloody Mary party last night. And no he answer. He wouldn't even look at your no, face. No, no, he wouldn't even turn around. So I'm like, oh, man, we made some regrets. And then after a while, I'm like, are you really that hungover? And I realize what he's looking at. The whole back 
of his house that's an A-frame like cabin was glass, and he is just dead set on staring at just the stern of his boat hanging out of the ice. It's just the top of the boat hanging out of the water, completely sunk. It was probably two feet of the boat hanging out. So the sleeping quarter, the bathroom, the engine, and all six seats were underneath the ice. And you go, I, 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 wow, this is a dang good Bloody Mary, isn't it? And then when I, what are you all down in the dumps about? You still hung over something? <laughs> oh, who did that? I, at that point, didn't know I had done it. What kind of boat was it? It, it was uh, it was a Four Winds. It was like a thirty footer. It was brand Six new. Six seater. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'd like to th assume that it, it wasn't broken, but uh, I'm pretty sure the ice just tore through that whole thing. So I went upstairs and then get yelled at by my ex girlfriend at that point, who Were I still you? had to drive all the way back to Westchester. That with. must have been the suckiest ride. Was it like twenty hours? No, it's like twelve, but twelve of the worst hours ever. Because she didn't even find out at that point until she went downstairs that I sank the boat, and then she she hated me to begin with, and then I was a pathetic loser, who just ruined my career. Tell me what the twelve hour drive was like. I listened to the Ramones over and over again, and looked out the window, and she did the same thing, the other window, <laughs> and you didn't speak at all. I never spoke to her again. I dropped her off at her house. You drove 12 hours without speaking. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah, it was terrible. And on top of that, I didn't know how to pay for the guy's poor boat, so I get back when you, home. And when I, you listen to the Ramones, do you get all down in the dumps? No, I get kind of excited. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, where would I be right now if I was still doing audiovisual work and dating that girl? She had, like, a wart on her face the size of a friggin' fist. <laughs> wow. No, she was beautiful other than that, but didn't have a great personality. She went and cheated on me with a, a friend of mine. <laughs> That was after that, actually, so I was really pathetic. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, wow, so I man, this is a dang good Bloody Mary. What are you all down <laughs> in the dumps? Oh, man, who did that? I, I sent him a check that would have bounced for uh, either 25 or 35 grand that I didn't have. I was just trying to reclaim my career move, and he never catched it and never what called me. What did you say to him when, when you saw it? I said sorry as I was walking up the stairs <laughs> to get my baggage. And, then and you that, had I no clue anything. when you woke up? No. What had happened? But as I was walking away, I realized I had sank the guy's boat. But I was kind of laughing at myself because I remember being at the party after that. So I didn't care enough about the boat to to go and let him know. I had found my way from the ice back on <laughs> yeah, the shore. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Well, the ice yeah. was so thick that you I must have just walked on it. You yeah. were blacked out on moonshine, <laughs> riding a boat by yourself that wasn't yours through ice. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That, but that would be it. To You're get to a party like, full of people I don't know without a dot. Chopping through rough ass ice, just like, woo, yeah! Oh, oh, rocking and rolling, woo! I, I like to picture myself with a tie wrapped around my head, my shirt off, hand in the air, a booze in the left hand. By yourself. Yeah, just having a one man party. Everybody's asleep. It's two in the morning, and you're just. You decided that it was a good idea to grab your moonshine bottle, hop on somebody else's boat, and chop through ice to a party that you weren't even invited to. But now picture me, because I was eating moonshine cherries, picture me with big red lips. <laughs> And you probably just saw, like, a fire with a few yeah. people chilling, like, all the way at the end of the lake, like, neat, a party! <laughs> Imagine if I would have made it over there, they'd just see a boat coming capsized on the back porch. <laughs> just right up onto the sand. Because I didn't know how to stop the thing if I did get going. I just floored it up there and then tried to get a beer from Sing Kumbaya. <laughs> I saw more people. He probably cross-eyed that night. Oh, it was <laughs> awesome, dude! Just picture driving like just from here to New Hope with after something like that happened, and like even that one and a half hour drive would suck shit. You had to do it for twelve. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking sucks. I didn't get any roadhead on the way home. I tried. She kept That's on slapping my hand away. Man, you should have just wow. bought her a plane ticket so you could enjoy the ride more. I just ran. I just wrecked somebody's boat. I didn't have money to buy a plane ticket. No, it's true. I was worried <laughs> about going home and mowing lawns. What was this? What about how, how what about when you were like, like eight, maybe? What about when you had to like stop to get something to eat? Did you even like sit together? <laughs> Hell no. She didn't look at me the whole time. I don't think we've made eye contact since then. That sucks so bad. <laughs> Well, no, I had a TV in that car, so that little crappy TV thing. Mm -hmm. So I think we just watched, you know, listen to Ramones and watch PlayStation or some crap. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember it being that bad because I didn't really like her at the time, so I didn't care that she wasn't talking to me. I was just more worried about my business career being destroyed by a sunk boat. Fuck yeah, Ryan Dunn in the house. Everybody see you left concert, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Bye. What up? 
Ryan Dunn. You should check out my new show on G4 called G4's Proving Ground. It premieres June 14th. While I'm here, I should tell you some of my favorite clips currently on YouTube. One of those would be Baby Trash's Barn Las Palmas. Hysterical. This is what happens when a wife leaves her husband alone at home with their daughter for too long a time. Uh, the effort alone put into this clip is worth watching. My God. Hysterical. Another good one would be Remy Gayard. Uh, Disco Elevator. A lot of his stuff is funny, but Disco Elevator in particular makes me laugh hard. I think because of the musical choice. And he does an awesome spin dance thing. It's awesome. Sipping Out of Cups is a good one, but literally everybody's seen that. But we should watch it again. I always thought that guy was high in a closet, but it turns out he was sober when he wrote that, which makes him truly weird. Uh, and a new one I saw today, I'm, hope, I'm hoping I'm like one of the first, is Barbershop Quartet Perform Surgery. Funniest thing I've seen all day. I, I just watched it again over there in the park, laughed my ass off. And finally, uh, pretty much anything with cats. Uh, while you're here, I think we're downloading some footage from the new show, which is G4's Proving Ground. So I think you can watch Benji, who's a random PA. He pukes on our audio guy after we go on a carousel. And it was a strange looking puke. I've seen puke. I know puke. Never seen puke like this. This is a new level puke. Blew me away. And me tasting chemicals at the lab is the hardest I've laughed in a long time because that scientist had no interest in anything I was doing. He hated me and uh, wanted me to leave his area as soon as possible, which in turn made the producer laugh, the director laugh, and then me laugh even harder. We were all laying on the ground. Hardest I've ever laughed. Meat tasting chemicals. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for listening to me, and check out G4's Proving Ground, which premieres Tuesday, June 14th at 8 p.m. on G4. And check out G4TV.com backslash Proving Ground for an exclusive behind-the-scenes clip. And follow us on Twitter, G4 Proving Ground.